Once upon a time, during the Warring States period in China, there was a man named Wei, who lived in a village. He was very poor and had no job prospects. Hoping to find work, he went to the palace of a rich nobleman, Duke Jiao. Wei's friend worked at the palace and mentioned Wei to the Duke. The Duke asked, what is he good at? Wei's friend replied honestly, he's not really good at anything. Despite this, the Duke wanted to give Wei a chance and asked if he had any skills. Again, his friend was honest, saying, no particular skills either. The Duke found this honesty refreshing and laughed. Very well, he said, give him a place to sleep and something to eat. So, Wei became one of the Duke's guests, among thousands of other men who served the Duke without specific duties. Although his peers looked down on him, the duke treated Wei well. He received decent food, permission to use one of the duke's chariots, and a small allowance each month to support his elderly mother. One day, the duke posted a notice asking for a volunteer to go to a remote region called Lan to collect debts owed to him. Wei volunteered. The duke, appreciating Wei's willingness, asked him to travel to Lan and collect the loan payments. Wei prepared for the trip, gathering the loan documents and a few guards. Before leaving, he asked the duke, After I collect the money, what would you like me to buy and bring back for you? The duke replied, Look around the palace and whatever you see that I need, but do not have, buy that for me. After a long journey, Wei arrived in Lan. He gathered the villagers and reviewed the loan documents. Seeing their anxious and worried faces, Wei realized that they were very poor and struggling. He collected what little they could pay and then made an unexpected announcement. By order of the Duke, I am returning your loan payments and burning the loan documents. The villagers were shocked and then overjoyed. They cheered loudly, chanting, Long live the Duke! Wei returned to the palace and reported to the Duke. The Duke was surprised and asked, Why are you back so soon? Were you able to collect the debts? Wei replied, Your Grace, I collected some money and returned it to the villagers, as they are very poor. The Duke, confused, asked, What did you purchase for me? Wei said, Your Grace, you asked me to look around and buy what you needed. I saw that your palace is full of treasures. Your stables are full of strong horses and your harem is full of beautiful concubines. The only thing you really needed was righteousness, Yi. So, I purchased that for you. The duke, still puzzled, asked, What do you mean by purchasing righteousness? Wei explained, Your grace, the people of Lan were struggling with extreme poverty. By returning their money and burning the loan documents, I claim to act under your orders. They cheered your name and are now loyal to you. That is how I purchased righteousness for you. The Duke, although not entirely pleased, let the matter drop. A year later, the Duke faced a great misfortune. His political enemies were gaining power, and he was in grave danger. Wei stepped forward again to help. He organized a small group of trusted guards and secretly escorted the Duke and his family to the remote Lan region. When they arrived, the villagers welcomed them with open arms, offering protection and a secure place to stay. The Duke realized that Wei's act of righteousness had earned him the villagers' loyalty, saving his life and his family's. He turned to Wei and said, Today, I see the righteousness you purchased for me with my own eyes. In life, the Chinese concept of Yi, righteousness, is about doing the right thing in the right way for the right reasons. It doesn't require special skills or knowledge, but it can earn you goodwill that might save you when you need it most.